So we took a look at Bruno, who's one of our Galapagos tortoises. Uh, the keepers had noticed that he was walking a little funny. It seemed like he would kind of drop in the hind end. And it's really hard to tell lameness in a uh, tortoise because they're so low to the ground. They don't, they don't limp the same way a dog or a cat or a horse or even a human would limp. And so we had a little bit of trouble finding out exactly what was going on and making him walk abnormally. We tried a couple different treatments, we tried pain meds, we tried some supplements, and it did seem like it was responsive to pain medication, which made us think, oh, is he changing his gait because he's uncomfortable? Or is he changing his gait because there's something else going on? We did do x-rays in him, but unfortunately he's just so big and so thick that our x-rays couldn't get very deep into his tissues, and we couldn't get a full look at his hips, at his back, at his spine, and we realized we were going to need some advanced imaging for that. And that's where MedVet comes in. MedVet does have a CT scanner, and that CT scanner allows us to kind of do a 3D x-ray and look into spaces that are really, really hard to get with a normal x-ray, and also gives us an opportunity to reconstruct things on a 3D level. In order to take Bruno to MedVet for a CT, he's very cooperative, but he's a really big boy and he's very strong. So we had to give him some sedation for the trip up there, as well as his trip through the CT scan. Most animals will put under full anesthesia, but for him, he just needed a little bit of sedation to help keep him still so that he could go through that CT and we could get a good image. So we sedated him while he was here at the zoo and then transported him to MedVet. And while he was there, we were able to put him on the table and finally test, is he going to fit through the CT? And he made it barely through. He had like a half inch on either side. And I was very excited because this means that we can scan his whole back. We can scan his whole hips. We can take a look at what's going on inside. The CT was incredibly helpful to us. Uh, we did find that it looks like Bruno does have some changes to his conformation. So similar to a person with scoliosis, his spine doesn't go in a straight line. And it does seem to mean that his hips are at a little bit potentially of a different angle than the rest of his body, which means that it's probably putting pressure on his hips and his legs at slightly different uh, amounts. And this is probably what's changing his gait. So what can we do with this information? It's really challenging with a tortoise like Bruno. With a person, you can sometimes do back surgery or spinal surgery, but in a tortoise, their spine is actually fused to their shell. So we can't really do surgery to correct that change in his shell or in his spine. So we're gonna look into other options like physical therapy and other strengthening exercises so that we can accommodate for the changes that we know he has and see if we can get him on an exercise regimen that's gonna give him a good long full life because he's got a lot of years ahead of him.